Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to order and customize IPOCs in OneChart. The objectives for this tutorial are to teach the end user the following. Accepting suggested IPOCs, ordering IPOCs, customizing IPOCs to be patient-specific, and setting and revising target dates for IPOC goals. If an IPOC is suggested by the system, based on documentation, it will display under the Suggested Plans line within the Order section in the Table of Contents. IPOCs that contain the EBN or EBP acronym in their name are based on current best evidence in making decisions about patient care. These plans should always be accepted by either right-clicking and clicking Accept or hitting the Accept button at the top of the screen. Once the IPOC is accepted, it should be customized by checking the goals and interventions which are pertinent to the patient's situation and plan of care. Patient-specific goals can be added by clicking the checkbox on the line of the IPOC, then right-clicking on the line and selecting the Modify button. For the goal, click into the description line and remove the title Patient-Specific. Here, you can enter in your patient-specific goal. Next. Enter in a duration unit and the outcome duration. Duration unit can be by days, hours, or minutes. To continue customizing, click the martini glass next to details to go back to the IPOC. The RN can also expand the area to view the IPOC by clicking on the martini glass on the left side. To create your patient-specific intervention, follow the same workflow as you did when you created your patient-specific goal. However, interventions will not need a target date. Put the cursor inside the description line and remove the title, and now, type in your patient-specific intervention. Once the customization is complete, click the Orders for Signature button. Now, click the Sign button to initiate the IPOC. To enter in additional patient-specific goals and interventions, the nurse needs to click the Add to Phase button and click on Add Outcome and Intervention. Type into the search bar the keyword Patient-Specific, and then click Search. From here, you can use your scroll bar to find either your patient goal or your patient-specific intervention. As mentioned before, click on the description bar and delete the current title. Now, type in your patient-specific goal. And then enter in your duration unit either by days, hours, or minutes, and enter in your outcome duration. Remember, all goals require a target date. However, interventions do not. If your patient has restraints, one of your interventions 
should be the type of restraint that has been applied to the patient. In this case, bilateral soft limb restraints. After you have initiated and signed your patient specific goal and intervention, click the refresh button. You should now see these interventions and goals have been added to your plan of care. To order an IPOC, click into the order section and click on add. Type in the keyword IPOC into the search bar and then click enter. Upon selecting a care plan, click the Done button and your plan of care will display. The nurse can now customize the IPOC by selecting the appropriate goals and interventions based on the patient's condition. Goals and interventions should be reviewed and updated daily under the Document and Plan section. Regulatory requirements now demand that every goal have a target date. EBN and EBP IPOCs have target dates that will automatically default into the Target Date section. To enter in target dates if one has not defaulted into the Target Date section, do the following steps. Click on Document and Plan. Click on the green check mark on the line that requires a target date. Enter the date and time into the target complete date. Notice the status is now being changed to the word charted and the target complete date and time now display under the target column. If a goal is not documented as being met or completed by its target date, the date will turn red. The date should be updated to reflect the new target. Note that you also have the ability to enter whether a goal is met or not met. If not met, outcome variance documentation can be added as to why it wasn't met and what actions were taken based on that. You could then chart on interventions and whether they were done or not done. If not done, outcome variance documentation can be added and what actions were taken. Both of these areas also have free text fields if further explanation is needed. Once documentation is complete, you will see the status of the component changed to charted. The nurse can review the documentation details of any goal or intervention by clicking on the plus sign to the left of the component. In the evaluation section, a green check mark indicates that the results have been met, as a red X indicates it does not meet the criteria. This concludes the tutorial on how to order and customize IAPOX in one chart.